You may think our next presenter is here because he won last year's award for Best Supporting Actor for A Fish Called Wanda, but you're wrong. He's here because he's the producer's nephew. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I give you the producer's nephew, Academy Award winner, Mr. Kevin Klein. Thank you. Thank you, members of the Academy. Thank you, distinguished guests, nominees, Uncle Gil. <laughs> Although the first Academy Awards were presented in May 19th, uh, uh, on May 19th, in 1929, it wasn't until eight years later that Best Supporting Acting Awards were finally given. From 1937 up until this very moment, there have been 107 Oscar recipients for supporting roles. I'm very proud to be here to help add another name to that most distinguished list, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> this year, the nominees for Best Supporting Actress are Brenda Fricker in My Left Foot, Angelica Houston in Enemies, a love story. Lena Olin in Enemies, a Love Story. Julia Roberts in Steel Magnolias. Diane Weist in Parenthood. And the Oscar goes to Brenda Fricker in My Left Foot. believe this. I'd like to make a private thank you to um, Bina and Des and Ina Burke and I'd like to thank every single member of the crew who worked on my left foot who created an atmosphere of fun and love and hard work. I'd like to thank Christy Brown just for being alive. I'd like to thank Mrs. Brown, his mother, Anybody who gives birth 22 times deserves one of these, I think. I'd like to thank Jim Sheridan and Shane Connaughton for the best script I've ever been involved in. I'd like to thank Noel Pearson for producing the film and Jim Sheridan for just being the most incredible director and the members of the Academy for giving me this, which I will take very proudly with me back to Ireland. Thank you. I've been asked to announce that the lovely young lady who presents me with the Oscars is, of course, Mr. Salman Rushdie. <laughs> Continuing... <laughs> what do you think, guys? Good? Okay. <laughs> Continuing with our theme of nepotism, famous offspring of famous fathers are not unusual in Hollywood. John Carradine had Keith and David. Robert Redgrave begat uh, Vanessa... Uh, Michael Redgrave begat Vanessa and Lynn. And, of course, Kirk Douglas gave us Michael and James Buster Douglas. He hit me very hard. He hit me very hard. I couldn't find my mouthpiece good. And Lloyd gave us the fabulous Baker Boys, and here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff and Bo. Please welcome the fabulous Bridges Boys. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, good people. We're here to tell you about the next nominated film. Now, a lot of kids dream of growing up and playing a, on a major league ball team. Right, little brother? Exactly. And Ray Kinsella was a big kid who never grew up. His dream was even bigger. Now, this fellow Ray dreamed of having his own baseball diamond with his favorite ball players playing right there in that Iowa cornfield. Yeah, but to Ray Kinsella, it wasn't just a dream. It was real. Who knows, maybe we all have our own special field of dreams. True. <laughs> 